and the epidemic ended. Dr. John Snow is the father of epidemiology. This story has repeated itself throughout the practice of medicine, and it's now repeating itself in the context of Crohn's disease. Crohn's is a form of inflammatory bowel disease, uh, which leads to symptoms including severe diarrhea, severe abdominal pain, fatigue, malnutrition, and even death. It has long been believed to be caused by an overactive immune system, whereby the immune system ramps up, doesn't shut off, and does damage to the healthy cells of the body, which results in the ulcerations in the colon and intestinal system um, that happens in Crohn's disease. All of that is about to change. In 2008, I suffered a severe Crohn's flare, which left me in the hospital for eight days. My GI specialist at the time referred me for a medication called Remicade. Remicade is part of a group of medications referred to as biologics. I'm sure there's some people in this room who are on biologics. What they do is they're shots or infusions that actually turn your immune system down again so that the immune system doesn't attack the healthy cells of the body. And while these drugs improve the quality of life for many, many people, they only carry with them about a 50 to 60% remission rate. They also carry with them a risk for opportunistic infection, spontaneous cancers, and death. Unfortunately, I had heard a couple stories from people that were close to me, which were very, very sad. Um, one person uh, shared a story with me that he loved a girl named Jennifer Dunn, who was in her 20s. She had lupus and went on an immunosuppressant, and then she caught bacterial meningitis and died in 24 hours. So for good reason, I wanted to keep these medications as a backup plan or a safety net. At the same time, I was seeing a Dr. Chris Foley at Minnesota Natural Medicine. He encouraged me to start reading research that suggested Crohn's disease was actually caused by a bug called Mycobacterium avium paratuberculosis, otherwise referred to as MAP, which we will be calling it for the rest of the evening. <laughs> MAP is a form of mycobacteria. It is carried and transmitted in domestic livestock. It lives in the soil, it lives on water reservoirs, it survives pasteurization, and it's widely spread in the food chain. It is the proven cause of Yoni's disease, which is the equivalent of Crohn's disease in domestic livestock and other primates. You guys, the livestock industry is all over this. They pour tons of resources every year into Yoni's disease and trying to get MAP out of the food chain. In 2009, I had the, um, the good luck of attending the International Colloquium for MAP, which just so happened to be held at the University of Minnesota just a few months after I was released from the hospital. And there I was able to talk to researchers from all over the world who were studying the Crohn's MAP connection and Yoni's disease. I learned about a triple antibiotic therapy that had been through three to four clinical trials at the same time. And you guys, this therapy was created by the same group of doctors who discovered that ulcers were caused by a bacteria. So I had a pivotal conversation with Dr. Foley where I posed the question, what's gonna be the least risky over the longest period of time? Antibiotics, biologics, or steroids? And he endorsed the antibiotics as potentially the least risky route. So I took a leap of faith and I started the antibiotic treatments. I was fired by my doctor. Not the good doctor. I was fired by my GI doctor because I um, didn't want to go along with the standard of care. And she didn't want to collaborate on a treatment with another physician who wanted his fingers in my, my Crohn's treatment. So I started the antibiotic therapy and I was able to wean off of two steroids after three failed attempts. And my colonoscopies became clean for the first time in 12 years and I went into full remission. Now I'm going to share with you why I believe that MAP is causing my Crohn's disease. I take breaks from the antibiotics. So when I stop the antibiotics, I hold a remission for three to four months, and then three or four months pass, and slowly early signs of the flare start to show. When I restart the antibiotics after a few days, all symptoms completely disappear. This pill is currently in its seventh clinical trial at 90 clinical trial sites across the US and Europe. It will come to market 
And when it does, it's going to turn the way we view Crohn's disease on its head. And the medical community will be faced with embracing the idea that Crohn's disease is actually an infection. And that your body is doing exactly what it was miraculously created to do, which is to ramp the immune system up when there's an invader. So the last thing you would want to do is turn the immune system down. Now during my six year journey, I've had the benefit of corresponding with Dr. John Herman Taylor in London. Dr. Herman Taylor is one of the leading researchers in the area of Crohn's and MAP. He has created a Crohn's MAP vaccine and a Crohn's MAP test. And I'm gonna introduce him to you with a video hello from London in just a moment. But first, I'm gonna to read to you a few words that his daughter, Dr. Amy Herman Taylor, wrote about him in a simple Facebook post to another Crohn's patient. So this is the person making your vaccine. At a critical point in his career, he was invited by the old boys club to become golden boy on Harvey Street. He turned it down because he wanted to do research and was called a fool for it. I could probably count on the fingers of one hand the number of patients he saw privately. He could have been a very rich man, but instead he gave away his time for free to patients who called him in desperation from all over the world. He has worked full-time unpaid for 13 years now since retiring from surgery, quietly, resolutely pursued the ultimate goal of curing Crohn's disease, despite the constant threat of research funds running out, despite constant opposition to his work from political enemies, and having beaten cancer, heart disease, and bereavement. And it's not for money or for personal glory, but for an unspoken promise to every Crohn's patient he has ever cared for that he will make this happen for them. And I can close my eyes and smell that office now, a papery sort of smell, probably from all the neat rows of gut magazine on the shelves. Hmm. I give you Dr. John Herman Taylor. Good evening, everybody. You're at a party and I'm sitting in the lab at King's College London, uh, working away. Um, I want to thank Jenny and her team so much and everybody there tonight for everything you're doing to support the MAP research in relation to Crohn's disease. We are making tremendous progress and we have the ability to make a huge change in uh, life for people with Crohn's disease and do something also perhaps about preventing it. The main focus of the work that we've been doing is to develop a first time ever a simple practical test for mapping humans. One of the biggest difficulties that this whole issue has been faced with over the years is there simply hasn't been a way of telling whether somebody has got the map bug or not. Well, I've been at it here rather a long time, but I have developed a new technology that is really simple and it's working really well. And it works on as a blood test and can tell you what proportion of what white cells in blood are infected with MAP. And it also, of course, works on tissue biopsies, which can not only tell us about Crohn's disease, but also perhaps other diseases in which MAP infection plays a part. So this technology, which is absolutely new, has the opportunity to make a huge difference. It is not supported by huge grant applications. We rely on you. So I hope the evening is a very enjoyable and successful one. It's not just a test, however, that there is coming on offer. Um, I've made a modern vaccine that is capable of treating MAP infection in Crohn's disease. And it's given us fantastic results in a three-year study led by Tim Ball uh, in cattle. And if it does the same thing to humans, then it has the ability to have a major disease-changing impact on the disease and will also um, uh, likely prevent it. So we've got big issues at stake here, and it just emphasizes the importance of occasions like this evening. Well, that's quite enough for me. 
this is a party and you don't want to listen to me for all that length of time. I will say that I, I am sort of a Minnesotan because I was privileged to do a, uh, a year's fellowship at uh, the Mayo Clinic just to the south of you. And um, Minneapolis was dining out distance for those of us who, who uh, wanted to go out in the evening, which was very enjoyable. I'm a great supporter of the Minnesota Vikings. I know what it's like to read the lowest temperatures at International Falls and piles of snow still around in March. I'm also, of course, very familiar with the marvelous people in, in the Minnesota countryside and, and the farmland and so on. And Labor Day on Lake Pepin, which I will never forget. Anyway, thanks everybody. I hope you have a very successful and very enjoyable evening and I'll be getting on with the work. Thanks very much. Goodbye. So you guys have really good news. I'm happy to report that the Jenner Institute has been involved with this vaccine for 10 years and they have started manufacturing this year. And so as funding continues to go well, they're hoping that the first human clinical trial will start next April of 2016. Now there's two arms for this research funding. The actual vaccine itself is funded through investment. The Crohn's map test is funded by this grassroots funding effort of what we're doing tonight. And this is an essential companion diagnostic test to the human trials. They need to be able to prove that Crohn's patients are actually infected. They actually believe 100% of Crohn's patients are infected. And they need to be able to prove the efficacy of the vaccine. If anyone has questions about, you know, around details about the vaccine, I have more answers than you want to hear. Um, you can also visit www.cronesmapvaccine.com.